Okay, just like U3, whenever we're finding the length of sectors or length of arcs, length of arcs. Now we're going to find area of sectors. Now remember, a sector is a covered, you have an arc, a central arc, and you have it covered in shade. And what that is, it's showing you area. Now how do we find the area of a full circle? Pi r squared. So the area of a sector is just like the length of an arc. You take your angle measure over 360 and that gives you the fraction of the circle that you'll be using pi r squared. So if we have a 90 degree arc or a 90 degree sector over 360 we want an exact answer so we're going to leave pi and our radius is 3 and then we square it 3 times 3 is 9 and 9 times 90 is 810 over 360 pi and then we're going to put that in our calculator Nine over four. So nine over four pi is, and if we put three point one four in there and multiply it by nine and divide it by four, we would get a number, and it would be square units or square meters, because we're trying to find out how much to cover this with, and that would have been your answer. Okay, the radius of a circle is six miles. What is the area of the sector bounded by a 135 degree arc? So 135 times pi times 6 squared all over 360. 135 pi times 36 over 360. I'm sitting in a dark right now um, at work because they're working on our electricity. And I can't actually see my calculator, so I'm going to be doing this by hand. 36 over 360 reduces to 1 over 10, and 5 will go into both of those. 5 goes into 13 two times with 3 left over, which would be 7 over 2, the 27 over 2 pi, or 27 pi over 2. Check me on those. Like I said, I'm doing it by hand because I cannot see my calculator. They're working on electricity, and my lights are out. So... The diameter of a circle is 8. If the diameter is 8, then we need to know the radius, which would be 4. Find the area of the sector bounded by. So we have 144 times pi times 4 squared all over 360. 144 pi times 16 over 360. I know 4 goes into both of those. 9. I could do more, but it's not going to help me any. I'm just going to have to find some more. So, 144 times 4 divided by 90. Exact answer. You could put this, or you could put that. Either one of those is going to work as long as you have pi in there and not 3.14. Okay, the radius is 15. What is the angle measure? So how wide is this measure? Because the about a, the area is 10 pi. So m, we don't know, times pi, the radius is 15, we're going to square it, we're going to divide by 360, and if we do all of that, we are supposed to get 10 pi. So the pi's cancel out, just like on U3, and 
15 squared is 225 m. I'm going to put this over 1, so I'm going to cross multiply these and get 3,600. 3, then we're going to divide by that. 3,600 divided by 225 is 16. Okay, that answer looks really right because this is a very narrow pi section. Okay, so that not very big so there we are on that the diameter is 20 so the radius is 10 the, we don't know how big the sector is but I'm going to do 3 over 360 and pi and 10 squared and then if I did all of that my answer would be 5 pi the pi's will cancel so that would be 100 m over 360 equals 5, which would be 100 m equals 0, 0, 18. Divide by that. And again, that makes sense because 18 is a fairly small number. From 1 to 360, it's a very small number. And that's how wide 18 degrees is. Radius is 6. What is the area bound about 50 degree arc? So we have our degrees, so we're looking for the area. So 50 pi times 6 squared all over 360. 50 pi times 36 over 360. Those will cancel. So it'd be 50 pi over 10, those would cancel, and we would be left with 5 pi. And whatever 5 times 3.14 is would be square feet, because we're looking for area. The diameter is 8, and the radius is 4. What is the angle measure? So we do not know m, but we do know pi. We do know 4 squared over 360 equals 6 pi. Yeah. So 16, and the pi's will cancel. 16 m over 360 equals 6. 16 m equals 36 feet. 21 and 21 60 divided by 16 135